in this video um, I'm going to talk about just getting yourself mentally prepared for the new year now we're a month away from 2021 and uh, obviously 2020 has been a tough year for us all and uh, particularly for students and uh, the students I coach and talk to in my webinars um, have all suffered quite a bit obviously we've had to adapt to working from home and getting lectures online and so on um, but for the most part I think people have pushed through and obviously there's been exams and I know a couple of the students that I coach and have been on our webinars um, they've started to come to an end uh, of those exams if they've got modules etc and then some people are going into research um, from next year and uh, so a couple of thoughts about just getting ready for a new year as a student and the first thing I would suggest is if you're going into a research phase of your qualification if it's a 50 50 uh, postgraduate degree so 50 percent modules you've done your coursework and now you're going into some research um, you really need to start thinking about your proposal and that's very very important it's a critical document it sets out what you're going to do and there must be some level of planning in there and a methodology with some practical aspects of how you're going to apply that methodology so think about your proposal there's actually a webinar 15th of january so if you want to start the year off on a good note in terms of getting your proposal ready and uh, presented to your institution uh, so that you can uh, you know get that approved and get cracking with your data gathering and the rest of your research then uh, come to that webinar on the 15th of january 2021 um, but at least start thinking about things like a good thesis statement and um, you know what methodology you are going to use um, what topics you're going to start uh, investigating in and I talk in a lot of my courses about how you are probably going to have a couple of topics and then you need to find what the overlap is between those and that's then the gap you know in the literature and the depth um, in your specific topic that you'll be able to go into and research um, in more detail and then if you're midway through um, a research degree maybe you're busy with a PhD or masters and it's over a couple of years once again I would go and get out your proposal because if you've written a good proposal you would have had a plan in there you would have had to tell your institution and your supervisors what your plan is over those few years and are you at the stage that you should be by now in that plan and are you stuck in a phase are you stuck in just perpetual data gathering are you stuck in a phase of ongoing analysis of your data many students that I coach are struggling just to break out um, you know and, and just start getting you know the next phase going and they maybe worry that they haven't reached perfection in where they are at the moment and so I really think that at the end of this calendar year you need to have that change of mindset and shift from one phase of study to the next you know get out of analysis get out of um, data gathering you know if you've got a final report that you need to submit you know just put that plan in place you know and I talk a lot about it in my courses and there's a few videos on the YouTube channel about you know just make a decision you're gonna finish your final report in the next number of months and then work backwards from that date um, download a 2021 calendar from the internet and uh, then just allocate week by week you know which section of your final report you're going to spend um, working on um, I go through a whole methodology for completing your thesis uh, dissertation or final report in one of my courses so you know potentially the end of the year is an opportunity for you to just you know put that plan in place and set some of those goals and you know just like you'll be thinking ahead to the next year so will your supervisors and you know possibly they you know will be going through all of their students that they're supervising and catching up with them to see where they are and what progress they need to make and it's good for you to be proactive and reach out to them and say look this is the plan this is what I want to do um, for next year and then I guess the last thought is just to you know look more broadly at, at uh, you know every area of your life studying is going to be one part of it and just make sure that you're going into the new year in the right frame of mind we don't know how different 2021 is going to be from 2020 um, and uh, it's going to be just um, something we're going to have to wait and see but you have to take control of your studies you have to you know, make sure that you're going to be successful and overcome the difficulties there are lots of you know 
support mechanisms out there, coaches and content and courses, and you really just need to make sure that you get access to as much of it as possible so that it helps you uh, become a successful student. So one month till 2021, get that proposal out or get cracking with it if you haven't been working on it. Make sure that you're on track with your plan. Make sure that you list out your key priorities for the next year. And of course, if you're busy, you know, at the final stages of a research uh, degree, then make sure you coordinate with your supervisors. And uh, there's lots of content available on the YouTube channel to go and help you do that. Good luck.